Good evening. The news summary for this Tuesday, 16th May. President Ramkarawan has done uh, 31 overseas visits uh, altogether since he took office in October 2020 until today. It was the Vice President Ahmed Afif who, made, uh, who gave details of the visits, including benefits, uh, before the National Assembly this morning. He was answering a question from the Leader of the Opposition during the PNQ uh, session. In his answer, Vice President Afif said, uh, out of the 15.9 million rupees budgeted for presidential overseas missions, uh, only 8.9 million rupees was used, meaning they made a saving of 7 million rupees. He added that there are many long and short um, benefits uh, from the, these visits. Uh, these include financial and technical assistance and implementation of national projects. The visits also gave the opportunity for Seychelles to strengthen its bilateral relations at the same time build on its good reputation. The Minister for Investment, Entrepreneurship and Industry, David Kavidot, says a digi digital platform to guide investors on the potential businesses in the country will soon be launched, provided it receives the approval of the government. Minister Vidot was answering questions in the National Assembly from the Plaisance MNA, Richard Lapose, on opportunities for local businesses. Ms. Vidot uh, said the platform to be known as investment map will be a tool to guide not only local but foreign businessmen as well. The information on the map will be updated at frequent intervals. In the trial of the former chief executive of the small business financing agency SBFA, Rosenda Arsenault, charged with abuse of power and misappropriation of public funds, the prosecution has asked the court for a one-week adjournment to prepare its response to the motion of Ms. Arsenault's lawyer filed to the Supreme Court. The trial has thus been postponed for May 24th. Today, Mrs. Asendo was present with her lawyer, Samantha Glaye, as the court has requested her presence at the last hearing. This time, it was the government's legal representative, Nisa Thompson, who was absent due to other court commitments. Ms. Aglaye, <clears throat> excuse me, Ms. Aglaye had also informed Judge Mohan Buhan that she intends to withdraw from the case Alexia Amsbury will replace her. To note, this trial was supposed to start last week with the hearing of the witnesses. Soon, youth workers will benefit from several degree courses at the University of Seychelles and the Commonwealth Secretariat are validating. This is taking place during a three-day workshop which was launched at the UNIC this morning. Over 20 youth workers are also attending the workshop to give their input and in the validation of the course. UNICE already has a degree course which was validated by the Seychelles Qualification Authority SQA. Dr. Amina Osman is the advisor uh, education at the Commonwealth Secretariat. I think it's excellent that they have a program, that they are committed to it, that they are fully aware that the course needs to be relevant to the demand of the population, including demand from civil society. They are very much aware that the youth worker can work in a variety of sectors, so they need to create different pathways and different qualifications for those youth workers to be as versatile as they need to be. And that is perhaps not uh, happening at the moment. There needs to be more capacity development for that. And that is kind of the role of the Secretariat to strengthen the program because there are emerging challenges. The world is changing. You have had COVID. You have had uh, mental health issues that um, became more um, important during uh, COVID. So all these, including the environmental issues that young people have to deal with, 
um, a program needs to be updated regularly. It needs to also be responsive to the global quality assurance context, and that is also a role that the Commonwealth Secretariat is playing with the University of Seychelles, to quality assure it that it has international standards and that also other countries may want to do the degree or diploma level, masters or uh, short courses. Airtel has changed the tagline, the smartphone network, which they have been using for the last 13 years to a reason to imagine. Airtel has decided to undertake this thematic branding change based on statistics showing that the youth make up a majority of their customer base. They to be able to meet the needs of the customer, Airtel plans to offer more services for youth in the future. The branding, the branding and marketing manager, Jules Valmont, says all the advertisements and branding will be moving away from traditional to more abstract and will use wording and slang which the youth can relate to. We're introducing no new products, new programs to, to help the youth, uh, the people of Seychelles, to to innovate and to, to be able to use technology to achieve what they want to achieve, especially, uh, you know, the youth. We like to hustle, we, we want to earn more money, we want to determine our hours of work. So Airtel, with the reason to imagine, we're creating the platform to be able to push the Generation Z and uh, the millennials towards their, their goals. That's the end of this news summary. Join me at 8 for the news bulletin in Creole. Until then, have a pleasant evening.